What makes this Meraki camera so awesome and powerful and why is it so big? That's what this video is gonna uncover. Let's get going. All right, so this thing is nuts. And before I dig into it, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you'd like to grow your IT career and your IT skills, click that subscribe button, the little bell. It's free and you'll get alerted when new content becomes available. This thing is insane. This thing is insanely cool and it's really, really awesome. And what makes it so powerful is also what makes it big. Let's talk about that for a second. Why is this camera so big? Well, the camera isn't just a camera anymore. This thing is an IoT device, Internet of Things. And what it's really got under the hood, if we were to take this thing apart, I'm not gonna take this thing apart, but if we were, we would find things like a processor, RAM, motherboard, and storage. Because what this camera really has underneath the hood is the ability to process what it's seeing. It has AI, machine learning, and analytics built straight onto this device. It can detect faces and cars when it enters into the screen. It's really, really powerful, and where that's really used, we're gonna reveal at the end of this video, and it's going to blow your mind. When you see me go like that, that's when you know mind is blown. But what I think we should do now is I think we should actually see what the analytics and stuff looks like from the cloud platform. So let's jump in the dashboard and we'll check it out. So you've got two scenes of me coming up right now. There's the Meraki camera that's kind of off to my side. You can see it on the screen. And then you've got my actual video recording that I'm looking at in the actual camera. So uh, I know it can be a little just jarring to see voice and not synced up with the video. So I've got my me video in case you get, you know, a little upset by seeing the the synchronization. Anyways, this is the Meraki dashboard. I have configured nothing on this device because I'm sitting down to actually do the CBT Nuggets recording right now. The cool thing is, is that you can plug it in and it already works. As long as it can reach the internet, it's going to reach out to the Meraki portal and start streaming video analytics in. I can see things like when it detects motion with these little yellow bars right here. You see what's going on? I can actually click on these and it can zoom you to those spots in time. So if I click on it, there's what happened at that spot in time, and I can click right back here to jump back to this present time, or I can even choose now to go back to the live stream. Now, the analytics is what I was really talking about. Let's click on that, and you can see exactly what's happened here. It's telling me, what is my most utilized hour? When are people traversing this camera? I can show me a bar chart of when entrances were made to this camera's view. I see I've got 56 total entrances. I can also specify the time range of when it needs to look and see when people were entering and moving through my organization. I can scroll down and I can see kind of an hour by hour view or heat map of when there was motion going on. Now, the other stuff here, network, location, event log, and even settings, that's what our Meraki content on CBT Nuggets is going to be all about. The stuff that I'm literally going to record as soon as I click done right here. But beyond that, I'm also going to be recording the API automation stuff for part of the in-auto exam. And that's really the mind-blowing part, is the automation stuff. Think about this for a second. Consider for a moment now that this device can track how many people are in its field of range. It can detect like, hey, there's 10 people in my camera right now because it can see faces and determine that stuff. But it also has the ability to send those statistics somewhere else. So imagine now that you're standing in line at Target or Walmart or whatever your favorite department store is, and the line keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What if they had a Meraki camera that said, hey, the people, there's too many people in this zone right now, in this area, maybe you should send more people up front to check them out. Or further, what if too many people were standing around a dangerous piece of equipment? The Meraki camera could detect that and send a message to that equipment to shut it down. <laughs> right? This stuff is amazing. It's not just a camera anymore. This is actually a real security appliance. This is something that can really change the way your business works. So when I cover how to do the REST API, or even cooler, the MQTT protocol, that's the IoT protocol for sending messages back and forth, we're going to show you how to actually build out an MVSense API solution so that we can grab these statistics in real time. How many people were here right now? How many people were here for the last day? We can grab all of this stuff historically, live, real time, and so on, and we can make decisions. Beyond that, even from just a dashboarding perspective, we can see when our peak traffics were, and so, so on like that. So it's more than a camera, right? This thing is really, really insanely cool. What's the catch? 
hefty price tag, but you get what you pay for. And this camera, I think, is really worth at least a trial so that you can see how it could benefit your organization. So that's a quick summary of how awesome the Meraki cameras are. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. See you in the next one.